<laughs> what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B Hot Radio Show. And as always, I got my podcast partner off in this thing. OG Games the Wicked, aka Big Galaxy of Ghetto Mafia. AKA, what's going on, uh, man? AKA Galaxy Wicked. I got my partners in here today. Uh-huh. And uh he brought me a little sunshine. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? This, this gip goodies, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, see, and you're this, new to the gip goodies. I've been no, riding no. with the gip good. I'm one of the first ones to ever try to get was <laughs> me, me and Gip were out in the 90s. You was just a baby. <laughs> what are you talking about? You were the, you were the first. But, but, but before I move on, uh, he did bring a little something for you also so we can shut you up, something to put you to sleep. <laughs> this is a little... So he brought me some for the players <laughs> to keep us toys. lit. I need to take y'all now. I need to take y'all now. I mean, Gip, Scott, what's going on with it, fellas? What up, what up, world? What's up, what's I up? I mean, we got a new banger on deck. Auntie Love going crazy right now as we speak. Hey, I mean, so, and a whole new genre with right. it. How did this joint come about, fellas? Oh, <laughs> uh, man, you know, like, long time coming. Full circle, I think, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. like, you know, Gip always influenced me mm-hmm. as a youngster, like, big cuz. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, me getting into this genre last year and having an impact in the game. Mm-hmm. So, I got the name King of the Aunties. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, you know, it only made sense to come up with an anthem, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it did good. I kept hitting cuz, like, cuz, I think it's a good one for you. Yeah. Like, keep working. You know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get into it. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Like, <laughs> then it hit number one on one of the main charts. Mm-hmm. And then he said, it's time. So now yeah. we're here. when you saw Cuz going crazy, man, what was it that made you a believer? Um, well, first of all, that's my family. Yeah. You know, second of all, um, he was like, Hey man, I think about our oh, summer ago or summer, he was like, Cuz, you need to come up here to the family trail ride. Yeah. And see my family up in the mountains, up in Rock Mart, they would get together for a weekend. Everybody bring their horses. Everybody yeah. bring their food. We gonna stay out here the whole weekend, ride horses in the now, mountain, yeah. and that's how we do it. We entertain ourselves, throw the stages up. Everybody that got talent, they go perform for the family. Yeah. So he he had me come out, and I got to see all the family. I said, man, I start seeing him. I start seeing other artists. I said, what is this new genre of music that's yeah, yeah. going on? And he was like, bro, this Southern Soul. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So from that. I just paid attention to it mm-hmm. and just watching him bring his style to the actual Southern Soul. It's giving Southern Soul a whole new look. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, so sure. that's the reason why I was like, yo, it's time. Because, like, and in, in, in the things that he's doing, the people he reaching, it's bringing the family back out. Exactly. The, actually, the actual music, the genre is, you know, it's, it's kid friendly, it's, it's grandmama friendly, it's family yeah. friendly. And I think we got. As a culture, we got to get back to the having those kind of situations in our community. Because I think rap has just made it where it's just one thing. Yeah. And I think this Southern Soul thing is going to take at least what we do as family, put some music back around it. Kids, grandparents, parents, everybody can love yeah. love this music, man. So Southern Soul, yeah. man, there you go, the face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, see, <laughs> I must say this about Gil, though, man. You know, see, Gil been running around here with the Midas touch, yeah. okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. He just took James Worthy to number one. Okay, <laughs> yeah, now yeah, I seen yeah, that. Yeah, I seen yeah, that with yeah, my own yeah. eye. Yeah. So now you done got Cubs about to do the same thing. Cubs and me. Diddy, I already yeah. know one. So, my so God. That, that's the reason yeah. why we down here today. I want Cubs to talk about the genre. I want yeah. to talk about the superstars in it, the people that's in it, that's yeah. moving it around. Yeah. Because I'm already getting calls from Houston and, and uh, what, uh, what? Uh, Jackson, Jackson uh, yeah. we getting calls from what well, Pimp C, Port Arthur, Port yeah. man, <laughs> all that. They they yeah. they want this. You Talk know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, like I said, like he said, it's like it bring the family together. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was it that made you get into that mode of music though? Because you could have went straight R and B. Oh no, I come from quartet. Okay, then my family, my dad, been sixty years of quartet. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like the greats out there, we from like so. It's, it's like the cousin of it. Okay. You know, quartet, I think all music comes from quartet. Yeah. Because back in the day when slaves, whatever you, however you want to say it, slaves, that's the only music they could play. That's right. So when I did a trail ride out in um, Hampton, South Carolina, I was like, damn, this shit's so dope, right? Because I seen the grandmas and kids, all dances, dust flying up. So it made me think, like, back in the day when the master, after they worked on Saturday, it was like, now y'all can do y'all thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the feeling it got. Mm-hmm. They, can they connect it to the ground? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We out here in the elements, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Exactly. Getting, getting what we need, that nourishment. So it was just like a, a great feeling. And it was like, man, I gotta run with it. You know what I'm saying? And when they started accepting it, it kind of felt like that church vibe, the way, yeah. I, the way I presented, you know what I'm saying? So it was second, it, it was easy to put the play together, like as far as the records, they come naturally. But I think I bring something 
from the image wise, like mm-hmm. I just won best dressed in the biggest award show in Southern Soul. Okay, I, I bring the image. I think that what Atlanta do. Atlanta mm-hmm. influenced everything. Yeah. So we here to take it to the next level. When it comes to Southern Soul, though, man, I mean, who are some of the contemporaries in that thing with you that you've been rocking with and jamming with, man? Oh, King George, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> for sure. Stacey Adams out here. Yeah. I got a uh, LPJ. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, my boy, the, the, the goat, Sir Charles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big Pokey. I just got a phone, Big Pokey, Pokey yeah. Bell, side piece, you know what I'm saying? They did their thing. A lot exactly. of Omar, a lot of different ones. West Love doing her thing right now. That's right. Um, it's a lot of, like, it's, it's big. Yeah. Um, they got the tour going on. Uh, Blues All Right Tour, mm-hmm. real big, a lot of big acts. Tucker, Tucker's like the biggest. Yo. And this Calvin Riston doing his thing. I did a lot of dates with him. Uh, Mike Clark Jr. My, oh, yeah, Mike. That's nephew. That's nephew. Yeah. That's what people are going to That's my nephew. Yeah, yeah. So, like, he say, nephew say they outside. I'm looking for him. I got that love for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, they going to be outside for so long they come on and get something they love it. <laughs> Shout out to Spurs. Got to put Mike Clark. Yeah, snap you all them, man. Lying, man. That's you good, that's good kid, lying. though, man. Exactly, yeah, definitely, man. definitely. Because uh, when it comes to that Southern soul, it's just good to have a new genre that folks yeah. can kick back and bring the whole family together, whereas the kids all the way up. To the grown Definitely. folks in the same place at the picnic, we can play that at the picnic. With, right, okay, right. Yep. right. But, you, but you're not allowed at the picnic. Oh, you're not allowed at the picnic. You lost your car a long time ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go right now. But uh, but no, man, that's a beautiful thing. Now, I mean, in current events and everything that's going on, fellas, I mean, the state of just music in general. Man. Snoop Dogg got pissed the other day because he said. He got a billion streams and it only equaled up to two dollars. <laughs> it was forty yeah, thousand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <But still. laughs> yep. Uh, it's, 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 it's the game. It's, yeah. it's you know. I just but, but but with genres like this that hadn't already been taken to 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 the major labels, I yeah. think this is where it's at. This is where you can build a real fan base, totally. sell your music, sell your your CDs, sell your Merch. vinyl. Vinyl right now is two hundred percent up in, in, sure, in yeah. out here. So yeah. yeah. I'm telling y'all, please yeah. do some vinyl, whatever kind of music, because, you know, hey, I give y'all a little secret. You know, 3000 selling his for $80. What? Mm. Huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Okay. So think about it. If you got vinyl, you can sell each 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 record plate for $20. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's real money in your exactly. pocket. So I would say this, man, go back to the vinyl, go back to the CDs, CDs and when and you in, you in this 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 position here, yeah. it's a whole new genre Definitely. so people want to be able to touch it. They yeah. want to be able to read it and look at the pictures. So, hey man, like that's where we should be going for the future because the streaming is just a new way to rob us and yeah, there's nothing we could do about it. None of the companies are actually in business with the streaming companies. There's no such thing as being independent anymore. Come on, man. So yeah, yeah. let's just let's just be grown, understand what we dealing with, yeah, and, and deal with it accordingly. Yeah. I, I agree you. with you. Come <laughs> on. Not to cut you off, but a lot, of, lot in these secondary markets we're in the thirds, a lot of these people don't have like the newer cars and stuff like that. They yeah. see the CDs. I did a show one time, it it, it messed me up, bro. <laughs> Dude went before me, he got up there and said, Y'all want CDs? I'm thinking, what? Like, I'm coming from the rest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Man, they they rushed the stage. Oh, <laughs> man, oh, man, I set myself up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all ain't go to Walmart somewhere and get some CDs. They're going to be blank, but we're going to act like we're passing something out. But, Come on. but I mean, just the, the, the knowing your target audience, right? Exactly. Um, and, you know, they're good people, though, man. Like, these people save up year at, like, that whole year just see you that one weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what you got to understand. They've been saving up. It's like, a Easter, it's like a program back in the day. That's right. You know, year after year, you're doing them same city. So it's like they saving up for that one big day in their town. Exactly. And, and you know, right. all the merch need to be there. Pins, whatever you got. You know? And also, the CDs and the records are like a form of merch in the same yeah, breath yeah. as well, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, I looked up at my own daughter. She about to be 18, but she went and got her record player. She getting yeah, the yeah, yeah. new CD, well, the new records. records. Before. She getting yeah. the creator of the yeah, album. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then she go to McGraw my house and get the Jackson 5 from her. You right. see what I'm saying? They get so into it's it. just as relevant now as it was then. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, they want something they can touch. I mean, and tie into what they heard. Yeah, yeah. They hear about the, oh, how the cracking sound, the vinyl sound, that mm-hmm. feel it give you and stuff like that. So a lot of people into it's changing, shifting. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say uh, three racks hit them for $80 uh, dollars mm-hmm. on the record. What were your thoughts on the Flute album? Oh, uh, what was my thoughts? Yeah. I, I loved it. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, he broke a ceiling. Yeah. That hadn't been broken. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, if you could sell eight, six, eight songs instrumental for $80, yeah. 
I think it's the greatest finesse in, in music. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's but but I, it, it still goes back to what he always been about. Yeah, he been mm-hmm. about the music. He went and did a cartoon about mm-hmm. you know being a, a teacher for music. So for me personally, it just gave. Hip hop, a new room. Yeah. Now kids can say, "I want to do hip hop, mm-hmm. but I'm just gonna do an instrument." Cause Dre did it, and he yeah. was successful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think about it. We went to school. Everybody went to school with some kind of instrument. Come right. on now. That's yeah, not. Yeah. That's 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 a dead art. Mm-hmm. So for him to go and take the flute, and and magnify the flute as an instrument, and say, "This is this," then turn around and say, "I'm gonna wear overalls." Right. Mm-hmm. He's magnifying our culture yeah. and magnifying musicianship. Exactly. And I think that's where hip hop can grow. And now a kid can look and say, hey, man, I can be a hip hop artist and I can just play trumpet. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah. Come on, man. We, mm. you we opened got up. John William Flawless, another bad one out there, too, because <laughs> yeah. he's a hip hop artist, too. Yes, yeah. sir. 3000 is probably going to age well. Yeah. Because our community needs healing and therapy and, and meditation, right? So you cleaning up, playing that, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's playing its role. Mm. Exactly. I think it's going to age well with our community because we need the healing. Well, it ain't aging well with Wick because he's such a damn hater. <laughs> that I'm he not, did. But well, see, let me put me on the spot. No, you want to no, put me on the spot? Welcome to the spot. We can go down there. You want to go down there? We're all present. You don't got the whole man's crew up in here. We're all present. You don't got the whole man's crew up in here. You don't got the whole man's crew up in here. You don't got the whole man's crew up in here. We're all present. My point was this I didn't have a problem with the project itself and what he was doing, pushing the boundaries. I get that part of it. My problem I had was I didn't feel like it was it was well put together. I didn't feel like it was there. There was a lot of talent there in it. That's my because I okay, like, you, ta- like you just said. Let's talk John, about it. I'm used to hearing the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Flute player. I didn't okay. feel like it was quality. Okay, that was my problem. All right, all right. Let's look at it like this. Um, when you look at anything like Miles Davis, do do do, do you know if he went and got Trained, right, right, or, did, right. or did he? Or did he just do it off feeling, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So you got to look. Him taking an instrument and picking it up and just playing whatever he wanted to play. That's because he's earned the right to he do play it. By ear. Yeah. yeah. He's earned that right. Yeah. Right. Now I'm gonna tell you something you don't know. Bro, the, the bro got a rap album, bro. <laughs> bro, and we, bro, we, bro, we, bro. We, we been saying that. We, we figured bro, that. Bro, bro, yeah. bro. If he wanted to rap, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it, he got that, bro. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Organized noise could go in their vault and pull out Ooh, your pull 3000 out. Yeah. yeah. Right. So but that's, but that's, but it's, it's not you. about that. It's about where we are in music right now. Right. Him coming out rapping wasn't going to change nothing. Mm-hmm. It was just him joining what's going on. Yeah. Now, him coming out doing this and making this successful, he just broke. The the, acro- the 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 whole situation down to where now we can go in another direction. At the end of the day, for me, that's great because guess what? He can go out here in theaters. People gonna charge a hundred, five hundred, a thousand dollars to see him play his flute, mm. right? Mm. He's showing you another way to take music and and grow gracefully as a as a man mm-hmm. and an MC. And hey, I ain't gotta depend on rap for the rest of my career. I, and I get it. And I get it. It just my I, thing is just be how I can't play drums. So if he just came out with an album playing drums, I know he it was would be garbage. Going see, the fuck, it, you know what see, I'm saying? See, that. Shawty, Shawty go and he learned how to play all this stuff. He mm-hmm. went to school. He went to school. Everything you hear on there, he played. Yeah. Mm. So that's the difference. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he everything you heard, it wasn't just the flute. He played yeah. everything. You heard. Mm. See, people don't know that, though. See, that's what I'm and saying. They, they but see, now, this question the... is straight for Gip, though. The hip-hop situation that we're in now, the atmosphere that we're in now, mm-hmm. would you not say that in 2010, it wasn't as loving to the OGs as it is in 2024? Yeah, it's never been. And with that being said, I feel like right now we have an opportunity to rekindle the Renaissance age from the 90s in the Mm -hmm. middle of the 20s because the time is right right now. And what did it all start with? Instrumentation. Started with DJs. Playing music that we never heard before. Yeah. And and we taking our ideas and putting it on top of it. Mm. When he put that album out, I looked. Oh man, they go most deaf rapping on top of his stuff mm. in Dubai. Mm. Oh man, Snoop rapping on top of his stuff at the crib. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. Mm. Just because you don't understand it, don't mean it ain't right. 
That's right. Yeah. And for all the yoga spots and elevator music and five star restaurants right. and hotels, you get to hear Dre all day and you don't even know you're listening to him. Mm. It's called money. Oh. When you sleep. Mm. Don't stop on me, Gil. Don't stop on me. Don't pause on me. But now, and I'm loving that though. Spring on me. No, it's it's another way of making money. He's showing you something different. Exactly. Man, we ain't seen everybody do it that way. Yeah. Show me something else. He just did it. Exactly. Again, who touching the dungeon? I don't see it. Not happening. I don't see it. Answer me this though, Gip, because also I follow you on Instagram, and it seems to me like Gip, James Worthy, Gip, Sky, Gip, Goody Mob, y'all are on the road every doggone day, okay? Yeah. Speak to me about this 50 years of hip hop, man, being able to travel with the fam, making it do what it's supposed to, whether it be rocking the bells in Mexico or doing your thing <laughs> in New York. I mean, how do you feel, man? I feel like last year was like the greatest year of my life because mm. I got to get on stage with Rock Him, man. Mm. Okay, then. I got to get on stage with LL Cool J, man. Like, I was a kid every night. Yeah. Like, every night Rock Him walked to the stage, I watched him. Mm. Mm. Every night Cool, cool J came off stage, I watched him. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's like being able to see your heroes that you were looking at in your pajamas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you know. On BT at that time, bro, and to be able to be next to them and feel them and, and understand that they see you, they respect you, and at the same time, you see why you love them. Mm. It's like Rakim, he carries himself in a way where yeah. that's the God. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, LL, LL shows you, uh, bro, that was the first Playboy of the game. That was the first one showed you uh, the young nigga Shway. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, like, he, yeah, yeah. he showed you. He gave you that. And yeah. the, for him still to be here and still be relevant. Like, you just watched him on New Year's Eve. Yeah. You just watched mm -hmm. him perform his record. So to be able to watch a lot of these, a lot of my peers, all the great things they've done, you know what I mean? Like, it's just great that... We took something that we didn't, all our parents said was noise. Mm, right. Like, and we made it into a worldwide phenomenon. It's, it's, it's amazing, bro, because, you know, really, when you rapping, people really, in the old days, they call you crazy. You yeah. rapping to yourself, folk, all of you look yeah. like the buddy walking down the street rapping. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, they you call us crazy, yeah. but that's how yeah. we got to where we yeah. were going. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, having that confidence to say, I can do it too. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I just feel like, uh, Georgia, we got our flowers. That's cool. Now it's time for us to give it to and and, and give others the opportunity to have it. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 pick certain ones that you know gonna Do right. live on yeah. the right way in the legacy because you can see it. When the building take over, you have chaos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you take the old, when you invite and, and implement the OGs, you have peace. Mm. Come on now, mm. you know. So yeah, it's like it's, it's it's like the industry tried to separate all the OGs out so that they could run them up with the youth. Yeah, okay. Exactly, that's what it was. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I think that right now we have to come back, get back involved, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and walk our special ones to the top, mm -hmm. so we know that this gonna last the way we were giving it. We were giving it from LA and Babyface. That's the same way we gotta. Hand it down to exactly. the to the Knicks. What's more rewarding, um, you know, doing seeing yourself, uh, you know, with a successful group like Goody Mob, or blowing up a brother like this? You know, what I'm saying helping him, helping James this, Worthy out. What's more rewarding? That's more. For you? That's more rewarding. Like to watch James being that he's from New York and he's an international star. To watch him. We getting ready to drop another album on there too. We just dropped a new video that's hitting BET, uh, yeah, out of control. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and then this was Sky. Like this, my family. Yeah. So I feel like for him to be the face of a new genre, this kind of like 
it gives us a, a, a whole new world. It, it gives us another light. And he's showing me as an older man where I can go if I want it. Yeah. 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 This, 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 this genre is for people who they ready, yeah. did their thing. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. We did our thing, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. we just really popping and, and, and swapping shit. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, like we, yeah. we, because at, at, at a trail ride, it's number OGs around, no, bro. OG, like, yeah. I can't wait that we, when the next one? We got one, uh, 101, shout out to 101 out in Paulden, Rock Mart, they, uh, March 3rd, I think. Man, if y'all would love to March go, man, I would love, I, I, I would love March to take y'all. If y'all want to see, if y'all want to see the essence of what we look like sir, right. yeah, yeah. in the in the mountains, I'm talking about where every thousands of people, people up in the, in the mountains, we all there. Everybody got their own horses, girls, moonshine, moonshine every, all <laughs> night. The the older men, they might have the, the Winnebago set up. The older men yeah, sitting yeah. on the back, they all kicking it, throwing stories, boom, drinking yes. moon wine. Yeah. It's the most. It's the most cultural thing. It's how I was raised. Yeah, yeah. you know that, that's yeah, yeah, like yeah, Uncle yeah. Lindsay. That was yeah, like yeah, the barn. that was the barn. Like my, un, you know, my great uncle man. He he used to do it up there in the, in the, in, the, in the woods, man. Yeah, so yeah. it was the biggest yeah, club yeah, out there. And that's how we. Yeah. That's how we came up. It's you like, know, what on, mean? The, on the one that y'all doing in Pawnee County. Can I? Um, can I, I got a, I have an artist and he tap dances and I want to know can I get him on I just want to know can I get him on it's gonna be a lot of dust guys yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tap dance <laughs> for no damn about it you ain't got no damn artist <laughs> <laughs> but I do gotta ask this though too still on the 50 years of hip hop thing Helmer said that he didn't want to be celebrated. He didn't want to come out and celebrate with everybody else because he felt like you know what he would be fake dealing with him. How do you feel about Hammer and how do you feel about his stance? I on love OG. Yeah. OG just got he just he just Oakland. He ain't gonna bite his tongue. Yeah. And and, and if anybody threw everything, they threw the kitchen sink yeah. at Hammer, man. Like yeah. they we got the really hip hop got got to really praise Hammer for taking it to a level that nobody even in New York had went to at that time. He was yeah, the first yeah. person I seen on a Taco Bell commercial. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He was the first person uh -huh. I seen, you know, doing the, especially doing the Super Bowl. I never seen a rapper in a Super Bowl commercial. Mm -hmm. You know, so Hammer broke so many ceilings. Bro, come on, man. The dancing, the chore the choreography, everything that he brought to the game and I think that at that time he was getting the ultimate shine from New York. Like he got, mm. you know, he got dissed. You know, people's dissing Hammer and everything. Hammer wasn't no joke, bro. When you yeah. got out the, you get out there to the West Coast and you really meet the the E forties and the Hammers and you really meet them. Oh, bro, it's a whole nother thing after the camera cut off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but you know something too, though. But you know something too, though. We and me and you talked about this. Yeah. The problem I had with the thing with Hammer was this. You don't supposed to do it for your haters. Like, okay, I'm not doing it because New Yorkers hated on me. I'm not doing it because this person hated on me. Do it for the people that supported you. I don't do anything to try to prove people wrong. I do it to prove my supporters right. So I feel like that uh, B has a, a big support of Hammer. Why you you know not doing it? You might have made Wit cool. But what about B-Hi that supports you and talk about you all the time? Yeah. Don't you owe him anything to come out there and, and uh, 50 years of hip-hop and say, you know what, I appreciate you showing me love, B-Hi, and the millions like b -Hi? Yes, but you don't have, you, you're not going to use me as a pawn. Mm. You ain't going to use me as a pawn because mm. I was bigger than everything over there on that side. Ooh. Period. I sold more records. You got to remember when Hammer was the only rapper that sold 15 million right next to Bobby Brown. Mm. But he didn't sell them by himself. He sold them. He sold them from people like us that love we them. we what understand that we understand, and I understand that. But you got to also understand that the politics of this stuff, man, is so. Some people just ain't with it. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> some people, some people just ain't with it. What? Yeah, you, some yeah. people just yeah. not with the politics, bro. Like you know, our leaders are given to them, mm. given to us. Yeah, and this hip hop shit. Our leaders have been given to us. Right. Not that they that they, they, they supposed to be the leader, but because that them folk think they yeah. supposed to be the leader. Right. So that's why Hammer in his in his defense, I feel that because I think if Easy E had lived, they wouldn't have respected him. Mm. Right. Bro, you didn't have Sir Mix a lot there. 
Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Well, man, yeah. huh? Come on. So that's but did, a, they that's, ask, did they ask him? I don't know. See, you gotta a, you gotta understand. Don't ask me when you get down to your last event. Yeah. How do we know that what that's what it was though? Gil? How do we know how do we I, know that? All I'm that? saying is me knowing that the 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 roots and everybody was over it and mm-hmm. them uh, called the hammer okay. and trying to okay. beg him. Like okay. I know, you know, they yeah. came from Somebody. with their heart. A like, genuine spot. Like, yeah. like I but when he looked behind and see who were running yeah, right, things, right. he was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Okay, so that makes it personal. So it ain't, yeah, it ain't so it's yeah, not really yeah, about yeah, us because, there. Because yeah, there yeah. it is okay. again. You, oh, I'm supposed to be un. Oh, but I sold more records. Oh, I would. He never been bigger Let's than me. Let's do it right. right. We got to do it right. If so, we gonna do it. So if you gonna ask me to perform, you want me to open up the show? I sold. <laughs> I outsold everything you want to put on the show. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Put me at the t- at the end if you okay. don't respect okay. me. Yeah. But don't okay. ask me to come to open your show up. Yeah. Gotcha. And I sold more records and everything behind me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, you disrespect me. I I bow out. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that <laughs> part of it. It looks yeah. like yeah. it looks like yeah. when you're just looking that, yeah. hey, you know what, I'm bigger than this right here, you know, and th- that's what it feels like. But if you break it down that that there's that's something you, personal. You can't diss me the whole time and then when you need me to go come make your show look good, now I'm cool. Yeah. Right. Why the hell was folks giving him so much hell? That's my <laughs> biggest question. Well, he, right he sold 15 million this. records, so everybody yeah. wasn't giving him hell. That's the narrative that's being but pushed out here. He sold industry, 15 not, million. It, it, I'm talking about inside the industry. You got to remember, the West Coast was a the West Coast was a, a phenomenon they didn't see coming. Yeah, D- they understood the gangster, but when this dude came with this this mm-hmm. actual one man show, yeah, mm-hmm. it's not what in New York ever came like that. We didn't see it again to Soldier Boy. Okay, <laughs> so think about this. We know. That what I can't control and what I don't understand, I'd rather turn my back on it mm. and act like it ain't there. Yeah. No. Come on, bro. No, I'm with you. So, so, so all I'm saying is, why you just now calling me if I did so great? Right. You've you been dissing me the whole time I was out here. You know what yeah. I mean? So now you want me to come and make your thing look like this. Yeah, right, right, it's right. going to look like this when Hammer hit me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> But 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 don't put me at the front. Yeah, man, highlight me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I ain't good enough to get high. You want him to typewriter on the stage, straight yeah. off right. the stage? Right. We ain't doing that. We not doing well, that. Well, he don't broke it down. Now, now you can now understand. You, now you understand it because now when you look back there, it's your peers that's running it, and yeah. it might be your peers that you was here way before them, and you like. Oh, they are okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Usual suspects. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why? 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 I got to be that? You yeah. know what I mean? Exactly. So that's the reason why I'm glad that Hammer got enough paper, uh, did what he did for his city, and stood on principle. That's All right. right. All right. That's right. Stood right. on principle. Don't 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 play my friend now. Yeah. Nah, I be here for Tupac though. Y'all want to talk about Tupac? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Hey, yeah. bro, that's that's a man. Exactly. That's that's the, that's saying I don't need your fake love. I'm cool. Come on, right? Now. Right. I'm right. good. I'm with you. I'm with <laughs> you. Now, on another note, though, Gip, uh, Diddy. He's going through a lot right now, man. <laughs> Look at him, man. <laughs> talk to me. I mean, she. <laughs> hey man, you know what? What you do in the dark? God, you gonna come outside one day, you know, and you know, um, you know, some people they it, 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 I keep telling people, man, it's a light and it's a dark side of this industry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some people who roll with the dark side usually get more. Mm-hmm. So. You know, it's tools and things people use to become powerful in the dark side. And sex is just one of them. Wow. So, you ain't never seen Gippy Diddy parties, huh? Mm -hmm. Because I don't do that. So, for all the folk that hang out at Diddy parties and find themselves in one of them room, Cat told you about it. Who you thought he was talking about? Who you think he was talking about? Right. Okay. So, this is a tool that some people use. Mm -hmm. See, but when you talented outside of just that... 
you don't need that. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Sometimes uh, people need all that kind of stuff because they might they need to have some on people to make them do certain things. Yeah. When you got talent, you could just do like three thousand and walk away. Come on. Wow. Come on. Yeah. I don't need all of it. I don't even want yeah, all of yeah. it. Get what I don't go to bed by myself. I don't need y'all. <laughs> <laughs> need the auntie love. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, nah, with that. I'm definitely with that. So now my other thing is, you know, just life in general, man. We done made it out of COVID. We about to go into another presidential cycle in this thing, man. I mean, what do y'all feel like this world is headed right now as we speak? I mean, it's business, it's corporation. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You're an entity in the corporation. I mean, you, like you saying, you can play in the dog, you play in the light. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, uh, but the thing is, what energy you put out for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you give game to the young ones coming, you know what I'm saying, and, and try to lead by example. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Community-wise, because, you know, like like I say with Southern Soul, it's, it's at least I can bring them in a space. When the last time you seen the little homies kick it with the grandma, the uncle, the aunts, the nieces, the babies, and all, and ain't nothing happening. Come on, right. you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing kicking off. You right. know what I'm saying? Come on. Hey, you can't even go to Thanksgiving. They playing rabbit in the house. They outside burn it down. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Say, Y'all boys going to do what they going to do. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, that's why this is so important to me, Southern Soul. And I think it's, like, ours. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody need to be a part. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, like, it's a good time. Family unions don't even happen like that no more. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like right. they used to. Yeah. Like grandma house on Sunday. They don't exist no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this is a culture. You can tap into this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody I took, taken from Gilp to other artists, JT Money, all these people like that. Like, damn, that shit dope. Yeah. You can be, a, be you, bro. You ain't got to get all fly. You put your cowboy boots on, do what you want to do, because you're going to be dirty when you get up out of there. Come so, on now. Man. My you tennis shoes with dirty hair. <laughs> now, you got some cowboy boots. I do got some cowboy boots. I need boots. to go get mine. The real players wear cowboy boots. You laughed at me about it. the man just said that you well, agreed with it. Well, because y'all was too damn pointy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, your cowboy <laughs> boot was just too damn pointy. What you, what you messing with, though? What you messing with? You messing with Eel? You messing with Gator? What you messing nah, with? I, I, you know, do, I do you just, straight. I do. I get Carl straight. I'm a dealer better. Bend that rain. <laughs> You know what? I'm, I'm through talking. I ain't, I'm through talking, man. Take me Call one of these gift goodies right here and, and ignore you. <laughs> oh, man. But now, I do have another question, though, too, for you, Gip. You know, uh, one of my other podcast partners, it seems like all my podcast partners are in groups, okay? You got Wit Ghetto Mafia, mm. Turk Hot Boys. Mm-hmm. Uh, Goody Mob, I've been seeing the mob mobbing all over the place. Mm-hmm. Explain to me, how the hell do you keep the group together and y'all are able to show force as a unit all the time? It's it's being uh just saying that let's instead of it being a young thing, like you know, we outside every day, we're gonna figure it out. It's more of business now. Like we gotta do shows for three or four months, we gotta go do movies for three or four months, and then we come back around at the end of the year and get some more money. You know, you gotta you just gotta compartmentalize what your life is now. It's like I got I got a CBD company. I got, I'm doing beer. I'm, I'm doing liquor next. Uh, I'm, I got a TV show uh, with Man Robinson on 10. It's like, for me personally, I'm just getting to do all the things I didn't do when I was young. When I was young, it was just good in my organized noise and joy and keeps out you. Yeah. So now I'm getting, I didn't, we Probably Goody Mob was in probably one movie, you know, and then I was kind of like, you know, this cool, but sitting around here all day and all, I ain't with all this, you know what yeah. I mean? So I didn't have the discipline to even mess with acting during that time, and I think now I got the discipline to do it, it's cool, and I can do it, it's natural. Mm-hmm. So for me, I'm just saying, let's expound on more of what you can do yeah. so you're not trapped in the world of going on the stage for the, for the rest of your life, because I mean, hey man, like... Everybody ain't gonna want to just do that, yeah, you know. Right. Traveling is where you where where, where the, the pushback comes back. It's like three in the morning, catch a flight, get there, <laughs> wait for folk to check in. <laughs> then it's like okay, now you sit around half the day. You can't hardly go to sleep because you gotta go do sound check. Then mm-hmm. when it's time to do sound check, you can't go back to the hotel. Time to go on stage yeah. two hours. Don't make sense to go back to the hotel. Mm-hmm. So it's like that lifestyle. Everybody is not gonna live to love it. Mm. Wow. Some people gonna be like, okay, I got this. Yeah, yeah. It's time for something new. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm just in that time for something new now. I move strictly to 
keep everything that I've put my time and my life into. See, that's the biggest thing black people got to understand. You can't build nothing then walk away from it. Yeah. yeah. It's never, I mean, like, what the hell are you doing? Like, nobody builds up uh, Kmart and Walmart and then walk off and let somebody else just do it. No, we got to understand, man. It's business. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, you got to understand it's on you every day. It's yeah. on nobody else. Yeah, so yeah. once you get into the place of learning how to take on new projects, finish them, move on to the next, it's maturity. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's knowledge learned. It's knowledge you got to gain. So for me personally, that's why it's fun again because getting on records like Auntie Love, I'm like, oh, it's fun again. I ain't, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not like, oh, I got to try and out rap, which I all think <laughs> yeah. the rap rap is. Yeah, I, yeah, hey, yeah. man, yeah. Hey, yeah. rap yeah. to your head fall off, bro. On, <laughs> I'm just trying to get through it. You know what I mean? Like, And then when he brought it to me, it was so funny because my dad and my uncles, them from Alabama, they rolled around to the Johnny Taylors and all that. Yeah, so yeah. it instantly was like, that's what that is. But yeah. it's a different, it's mm-hmm. the tempo's different. Yeah. And, and 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 the subject matter is a little different. That's right. You know, so I, it's the same Come setup, on, but it's like when I listen to this record, listening to this record when I first heard it was the same, I got the same feeling that I had when I first heard Fuck You mm. in the studio. Yeah, yeah. I see Low Green. Listen to his record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he sent me the record, I was like, wow, that sounds just like Fuck You when we did this. And then when I put my verse on, I was like, wow, like, it worked. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, like, it worked. You know what I mean? And, 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 and it's like, to be able to have Cuz find that, 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 that particular vibe mm. and it's working, it's like, oh, I know what this can do. They can mess around and go pop. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Man, he gonna walk around and go pop. Come you on see, now. If he go pop now, he's gonna have the opportunity to take this whole genre that only a few of us know about and right. take it to the world. Mm. That's right. That's right. Hey, Amen. And for him to be my blood, I mean, what you, I, that, I'm gonna push him. You exactly. know what I mean? And you see his style, he gonna catch you when he walk in the room. Come hold on. Yeah. Hold, the hold up. Right <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so that, I mean, he got everything it take. Hit records yeah. is the only thing he need. And, you know, he called me last, what, about two weeks ago? Good, man, I'm over here. He was in Tyrone, Georgia, got a hundred folks up in the club in the middle of the week. Yeah. Hey, man, you got some, man. Mm. Yeah. Hey man, this like that rap stuff that early nineties when it was new down here and mm-hmm. you know, like yeah. the people were going to them events and you like, what going on over there, at MJQ? What going on yeah, at Columbia yeah. High School? Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. One shot eat them start doing show, everybody start trying to get there to see it. Come so on, it's man. like that's how this other soul stuff stuff starting to come and me just going to the family, you know, you know, trail ride, I was just like, Man, okay, this is a whole culture that I just been oblivious to because I've been gone. Come on now. You know? Played in the flame. First of the summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we, we. Hey, hey, man. Shout out to Grand Street. <laughs> Street. Street. Shout Swamp out to Swamp Izzo. Izzo. Man, them folk played Southern Soul up in the blue flame. <laughs> but I mean, did the they hey, they so some love. Hey, it wasn't number <laughs> auntie. <laughs> hey, stop playing. Y'all know what y'all need in them other folk. They, 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 everybody sat back and looked. That's all the Girl, yeah. You know we talking about you. <laughs> you know you you know you the cool you auntie. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, right. <laughs> so okay. just listening to it in in the blue flame, hearing how clear it was, it sounded like they wow. smile, even a, though they catch it out the way. It's a re- it's yeah. a record, man. Yeah. Whenever you can hear it in the club and people can sit back and listen to it, and by the by the middle of the record, they like they in tune with it. Yeah, it's yeah. like you know you got something. Mm. Gip goodies, man. I mean, we yes, see sir. the prospering, we see the growing, and everything else going on around this thing. So, hey. what's new? What what you got going on now? I see they came in here with the whole drink in this uh, thing. Yeah, man. So now I got the full full pack. Yeah. pack. I hooked up with this guy named Lennox. Yeah, high gravity. Yeah. Uh, he said, Gip, do you want to do a beer? I said, Yeah. He said, Man, I got a dude that actually brews the beer. Mm. Mm. You know, his name is Chris, and I went and met him. We had a little spot. It's a little spot out there, Down Home Brewing. First black owned uh, brewing company in Georgia. Dude named Chris Rees. He does it out of a place called um, that's in Tucker, Georgia. Mm. And uh, we had a get together, man. We had people come out 
and and taste the beer, it's a it's appeals. Mm. So it's very very. This is this is what you sit down and eat your steak with, you know, oh. eat your good meal with, and you are gonna have that drink. It, 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 it it's a good beer. It's not a real heavy beer on the back. Mm-hmm. It's very smooth. Yeah. Cause see, Gip don't drink a lot. So anything that I drink, <laughs> it gotta be smooth. Exactly. And I can drink this beer, and still function like. Okay, I like that. And it don't got that heavy beer taste yeah. on it. You know what I mean? So for me personally, this is the greatest place I could be right now is getting into beer. And that it, the actual guy that does it looks like me. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like this is, a, you know, Georgia is a big beer city. It's a big beer state. You yeah. know, so I'm looking at what happened to Am- Anheuser-Busch and I'm like, well, shoot. You lost all that, all that. I need to get some of it. Whatever you lost on the floor, let me pick it up. How do we get it though? I mean, if I, I want a six pack, okay, I, I, okay, <laughs> I, 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 I do, I do four packs, and okay. what I do, you know, when we get off, I got a four pack for you because really, I, I got a four pack. You better <laughs> my kids, you t- do not touch my beer, man. Yeah, I'm tell yeah, you right four now, pack will go straight yeah. in my car. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I get y'all these. I got to cut, and I get y'all a bag, and inside the bag, this is the actual. Bag, yeah. So this is the Gip Goodies bag. Yeah, uh, you can put this in the fridge inside. Mm, it'll inside keep it cold. Yeah, it'll yeah. keep it cold. Yeah. You got you got the Gip Goodies cup. That's cup. right. You got the T-shirts. That's right. Uh, and you got and this and you got for your for your. Oh no no drop. Okay. Uh, I didn't drop it. Okay. For your coffee, I thought with glass. You know, <laughs> for your coffee, with your pimp. You know what I mean? For yeah. your coffee See that's for me. That's what I am. No, nah, you don't need to touch that one at <laughs> all. No, I need to so, touch that one. So yeah. that's 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 your Gip pack, and then you yeah. you'll get. You know, one of the uh, Zagas in there, man. That's right. You know now, what, what is that? Because I drunk. I... This right here is rum. Okay. So this is uh this is non alcoholic rum, and it got that uh yeah, it got that feel good in there. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. So so it tastes exactly just like rum. Um, hey man, you just got that CBD, that Delta in there. So man, it's a Beautiful body high, wow. and you can't never get drunk. You just gonna go to sleep. Mm. Just gonna go to sleep. Wow. So how about that? <laughs> now, now, you still got you. You still uh, you opened a store up in Columbus, right? Are you yeah, still I down did. there, in Columbus? I left Columbus. You left Columbus. Yeah. You 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 here now? now we now got a store. We got a store. It's called New Beginnings okay. Hair Salon. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's yeah, my yeah. family. Okay. That's my brother. brother. Right. Okay. That's on. That's on Riverdale. We've been there for sixteen years. Okay. So what we did, we took. That you know, cause once the the fifty years of hip hop came, bro, my schedule was too. I couldn't run Crazy. Columbus and yeah. keep coming. I said, let me just take it from Columbus and put it in the family shop. Now yeah, you can right. come in there and get your hair done, okay. order all the CBD products, get exactly. your get your drink made or yeah. a slushy, yeah. and get you some pain gel for your pain. Take that home. Yes. Now we got CBN for the sleep. It's like you can get everything you need and get your hair done. So wow. I think that's what we wanted to do, and it, it consolidated the family business into but one But on place. top of that, though, what about the distribution, though, Gil? Because I see it in regular vape stores, CBD stores yeah. across the it's, country it's as in, well. It's, so it, how the hell do you deal with that and handle that at the same time, sir? Yeah, I'm going to tell you, it's, re- it's a real hard process because they take so much for us, yeah. f- from us to get into those spaces, mm. and you have to pay a 30% fee to get into them spaces. Yeah. So it, it's 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 about first of all your product being good, them knowing that you're gonna be able to sell it, and at the same time you being able to put the money and the finances into it to make mm. it look better than just the average. That's yeah. the one thing that we as black people got to do. We got to learn presentation and marketing. Yeah, wow. that's mm-hmm. everything. That's the re- that, that's the reason why your product gonna stay in five points and mine gonna go in. In, 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 in the store right. You know what I mean yeah, right, Like right, yeah. It's A lot of times It's just about the labels yeah. See I looked at B And said Nobody got a purple label That's us That's royalty That's right, right. So for yeah. me personally I'm trying to go into The beer situation And the beer Just business And change up How they market yeah, they it's, it's it's a very simple marketing. So if you got an actual product that tastes good, then you can probably catch some of the greats just by having great marketing ideas. Exactly, and that's exactly. and this is one of them. You know, like the Gip Four Four Pack. You can get this for your man, your woman, and I'm gonna send this to your house. And I get with my man Lennox and and. Uh, we can get whatever you want. You can get one of these sent to your house. Yeah. You know, so yeah. And then I'm gonna just uh, hopefully sit down with the city of Atlanta and figure out how. The Gip products can help the city of Atlanta just being involved with the city. Andre, he's done such a great job. I just want to yeah, figure yeah. out how I can bring some of this stuff. 
because I would love to put, you know, the pain gels and the stuff like that that could really help our older elders. You yeah. could put them in the in the old folks' homes and, mm-hmm. and, and all that Come kind of stuff. Now. And instead of them buying opioids, they can buy right. CBD products and hair products that they can actually help them and not destroy them. Right. Exactly. So wow. that's, 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 I want all my, anybody, you know, you, you looking at people that's in the old folks' home, now they can actually have, they can have, Alcohol, all they want, you know, it's no alcohol in it. It's right, cannabis right. in it. Yeah. Then you can have the actual pain gels and and the, and the sleep aids. I just think I'm just here to help people, exactly. and, and and I feel like the opioid business has destroyed so many people mm-hmm. in our society, mm-hmm. and the only way to to take us away from that is to show people that it's another option mm-hmm. that can help them too. Exactly. And I I just don't think that people even go about it that way because they never want us to go anywhere. They want to keep all our money even if it's destroying us. So I just look at it like right. this This is a way for me to do like I did with music. I didn't sell death in music so yeah. I'm not going to sell death in products. Right. So I ain't mad at Come you. On. I got to ask you this though, Gip, and this is for everybody too, but first I want to start with you though, Gip. What is it like when you see your daughter getting her shine on, oh, man? man? Because man. And then being able to be somebody that can give her real knowledge and game at the same time. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all Oh, man, that, 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 Gip didn't even know my baby was in the color purple till a week before it came out. <laughs> she ain't tell daddy nothing. Uh, yeah. I give her that. She got a boy. She got an iron lip game. Yeah. <laughs> thing good. Um, just to have the opportunity to take her on the stage, bro, and and watch her get the rock a soul out crowd. Like mm. it was everything, bro. Like uh, yeah. as you keep Saya only picked up music probably nine or ten months ago. She never wanted to do it. You know, she came up with uh, the uncles, uh, Dallas, Austin, yeah. uh, the, the, the organized noise. Yeah. I mean, the granddaddy, Joy Clinton. Yeah. She, she just, uh, she just never, I've been around stars all my life that I ain't never really wanted to do it. Mm. You know what I mean? And then one day she was like, yo, I'm doing music. And I'm like, who did that beat? She said, Cypress, Dallas' son. <laughs> so, <laughs> So just understand, next thing I know, I get a call from Dallas like, yo, yeah, she been over here. She been over here working. <laughs> you know, so I'm just like, man, just to watch her go out there, get a show together. She got dancers, a lot of people trying to help her. I already got a song on the radio. Shout out DJ Jelly. He was the yeah. first one to start well, playing with Jelly on, on V103, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. So Jelly had really been behind her, one of the first I heard playing on She was on the radio for me and James. So I was kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, I said, I said, baby, you just picked up the mic nine months ago and you're on the radio? <laughs> it took me 10 years to get on the radio. <laughs> so it's like just to watch her accomplish the things that she's doing and now she's in a number one movie color purple and she wants to do more acting and Fatima very much looks out a- after her she's yeah. she's very much you know a Fatima baby so I'm sure I'm gonna see her in more movies with Oprah and all of them people and you know I want her to take her music as far as she want to take it but I you know I just want her to do you don't have to run you yeah. can walk Because you got so much wisdom around you. Mm -hmm. Come on now. (laughs) Juggling music and family at the same time. It's for everybody. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's for everybody. Oh, communication? I mean, you got to communicate. Like, I got a son at Morehouse, and then I got a three year old. Yes, sir. I started (laughs) over. <laughs> COVID, baby. Hey, it wasn't nothing to do with kill each other, love yeah. each other. We, 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 we were locked down. We were locked down, skip, you know. So, but it's, I mean, communication, that was hard for me when I got back in it. Cause, yeah. You know, I was with JT Money back in the day. I yeah. with him, and then when I stopped, I got back in the game. It's more of a, okay, I want to do it now. Yeah. Communicating that with my wife, right? Mm-hmm. And then it was like, okay, we, she very managed. She, you know, she's an executive. So, yeah. you got to. Communicate. We yeah. gotta set this out where it makes sense. But she supported. Like I said, but it wasn't no no big thing. But like the communication piece is the main thing. I think that's in everything. Yeah, yeah. You communicate it, put it out there, then you execute. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, that's the main thing for me for fam- balancing it. You know what I'm saying? What about you, Wick? Uh yeah, cause you just shot a video with CeeLo Green uh, over there at the bounce and all that. You acting like you acting like you I'm ain't back out here. Play, uh, you ain't not, <laughs> you ain't back out here on the street. I got one son and he's twenty five years old. I ain't really got no family shit going on. I, I'm just exactly. enjoying y'all's story. I'm the only one that ain't married. Hey. Yeah. What's going on with that song with what you and CeeLo Green though? Uh, the 29th, we're gonna drop, try to get Gip to come. I hit you, D. I was uh-huh. out. I was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was but, gone. But it's it's gonna drop on the 29th right here on on Beehive. Oh yeah, now I'm dropping it. 
And uh, that's about it. Yeah. You know, I'm just playing my role. I'm playing my position, man. You know what I'm so, saying? Uh, so, I'm so, so what, I'm just, about, what about a chit, uh, chitlin' circuit run? We're going to yeah, hit yeah, yeah. Macon, we Macon, Macon, Augusta. Oh, we got Savannah. Oh, we got, I'm gonna drop, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the video here first and uh, on Beehive exclusively, yeah. me and you. And then I'm going to, maybe three to four weeks later, then I'm going to drop it. You know, in the, yeah, okay. drop it out there. That's great, man. Right now, all I'm doing is, my thing is this right here. I hear everything, you know, about the streaming and stuff. I kind of already knew that. I was telling people that a while back. Mm -hmm. The streaming wasn't for our age group. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, I'm, you know, just dropping the video now, we'll be able to capitalize off of. Yeah, man, because you'll do better everything. if you just go and just yeah, print it, print, you know. I be talking to OG that own DBS over there on the south side, and he yeah. was like, hey, bro, like, it is just a real merch. Like, Goody Mob went and did a signing at DBS two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, we signed autographs for, we went and got like 150 to 200 vinyls of soul food on vinyl. Mm. We sold out of all of that. We sold, we, we sold out of all the soul food <laughs> and we sold about almost 50 of the new albums. Mm. Uh, Survival kit on vinyl. That's yeah. a fire album too, man. Yeah. That album, that there. That, that was Soul Food 2.0 yeah. for me. You know how yeah, I feel about Soul Food. Yeah, bro. So, so Soul Soul Food is the number one album all time. You yeah. damn right. That's right. And if that's you right. got something to say well, about it, no, 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 I'm shocked that you oh. haven't said that already. Oh, oh, oh okay. That, that's what I'm saying. So, I, so sure. I had to say it for you. No, I said, <laughs> hey, man. Uh, <laughs> no, it's the truth, though. No, he says that every every single time, and we'll argue that about it. I find a way to interject that into every conversation that. I have. Why does Beehive do that in every conversation that he had? Because there's somebody watching it that might not know. Right. Yeah. And they need to go and stream that album or download that yeah, album yeah. and buy that that's album true. so it can affect their life the same way it affected mine and every day about right, right, right. And that's the whole thing, too. It's the narrative. Are Bro. we going to control it or are we going to let somebody else control it? Right. Gil, right. let me ask you something. When y'all were doing that, because uh, people ask me this all the time when they be talking to me. When y'all was in the midst of the Goody Mob run, when y'all first getting it started, y'all doing Soul Foods, y'all doing all this great album stuff, at that time, did you know that y'all were making history, that y'all were going to be as great as y'all were? Did you know 30 years later you'd be sitting right here as a legend with a, with a man telling you it's, gonna, it's the best album ever came out in hip-hop? 50,000 albums don't came I, out. I, I, I didn't know that at the time because, remember, at the time, we couldn't hear the records. We were recording them and we didn't hear the records to the end of the album. Mm. So I didn't know what we had until the end of the the end of Soul Food was done. And even with that, um I only know we was living in the gangster world in. Mm. You know, everything was gangster, everything was gangster, gangster, gang. All I knew that it I could take it to Big Mama and let her hear it. Wow. You know what I mean? And she loved it. So for me, I think that I could only go about it in the way of hoping that I had some on there I could go to mama and them. I could go to mama and them and let them hear guess who, guess who, and feel like I'm doing their rap, but I did something for you too. Right. Yeah. So I didn't know it was gonna be this, but I knew I had made my elders proud. Wow. Wow. So that 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 was my whole goal. A doing music was to not wind up a statistic and then at the same time prove to them that you can have a dream and you can make it work. That's right. Wow. I was watching the Suge Knight podcast. They were talking about the uh, One Nation project, man. Yeah. And they were like, they had like 60 records recorded for that. I was trying to figure out, did y'all get on in on that? No, because we were going to record our records in Atlanta. Park wanted to record those records in okay. Atlanta. You know, okay. his main thing was like, I'm gonna record the rest of this stuff out here, that, that you know, on the west, on the west coast, and then yeah. when I get to Atlanta, I really want to sit with y'all and figure out how to come about it. So I just think it was a a, a plan that we just didn't get to, mm. you know. But we had spoke about it that night. Like he was like, shoot, you know, when I finish this, I'm coming to Atlanta. His whole thing was, let me finish these albums with Shug, then I'm moving to Atlanta. Period. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he felt like once he got to Atlanta. He was gonna be shedding that energy and mm -hmm. moving more into this energy, and I just don't think he had. He got. He got the opportunity. Exactly. Mm. That Atlanta energy. This is for everybody, man. That '90s Atlanta energy to oh, this man. 2020 Atlanta energy, man. 
How do y'all feel like it's the same, and how do y'all feel like it's changed at the same time? Getting his guy. Playerism gone. Oh. Ain't no player. That's how the player you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. gone. That's real. That's the old part gone. Yeah. So, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I think it's just more about the money uh, putting on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and like I say, it's about, everything ain't going to change, but you still got to have those elements, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they keep you grounded. And I think, like I say, going back to what we're doing now, that's yeah. where it's at. You know what I'm saying? The city can get, because you, you control media, you control cities. That's right. You can find spaces, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But when you get out there where it's rural, where you got influence, you can talk to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the influence ain't as much. Exactly. So that's what we're tapping into. For a person that doesn't, um, if you know, hadn't heard uh, Southern Soul, mm-hmm. hadn't, hadn't, hadn't heard or you don't know what it is, what would you what would you describe it as? What would you say to the, the person that, you know, that, that has no idea what you're even talking about? All right. So I think everybody knows what rhythm and blues is. Not R&B is a sense of what, how they pushed it on you, like R&B. Mm-hmm. But rhythm, blues. Johnny Taylor, them, rhythm, blues. Mm-hmm. Blues, Southern Soul is just some Southern artists with a Southern draw from Mississippi to Alabama. We all sound a little different, but it's country. Mm-hmm. On some soulful records, but now they got a little more 808 in there or something. Mm-hmm. It still got that bluesy guitar riffs in it. Yeah. And it's feel good music. So most people say cookout music. Gotcha. Like if I was to do a record with somebody from New York, it would be Max B. Yeah. Because he had that New York cookout music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it would make sense to connect the two. That's how they relate. Like it's more like a Southern Max B type of cookout music. That's right. With a little more soul in it, though. A little churchy. I'm yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with Cutting you. up, though. Cutting the food. Because you got trail ride blues, too. Mm-hmm. Like Gita Jones, all them. Uh, DJ Truck, all them. That's the trail ride blues inside of Southern Soul. Yeah. So, that's okay. more of the line dancing, the cutting up, the cutting the food records. You know, like the the funny records. Yeah. The chicken, yeah. Whatever they do, all the, you know, the acting with. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's like trail ride blues, though. It's just fun, though. Like, everybody's out having have a good time. You know, you get out towards Texas and them trail rides. Now you got real outlaws and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, got, yeah. you got to be ready to go out there. Them real cowboys out there. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, they ain't not saying no disrespect like that to the other cowboys. I'm saying, like, it's more serious out there on that side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. like, that Texas. Yeah, that, that side of the trail rides. I want to ask y'all about this music industry in the same breath, too. You know, back in those 90s when a lot of this music was starting, you had gatekeepers to where, okay, you ain't going to get in here unless that person said you can get in there. Mm -hmm. But the world that we're living in now, it allows us to create what we feel, how we feel, when we feel, and deliver it directly to the consumer to be able to make the noise that we need to make. How do y'all feel about the freedom of being able to go around and do what they did. So it's like, okay, you can go online and without a record or nothing and go viral just talking your shit. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With, you can drop a record with CeeLo Green without having to go through no labels to right. get it done and give it straight to them. Sky, you can come in with a whole new damn genre of music <laughs> and ain't got to ask nobody. Right. When somebody say, hey, we want to hear R&B, nigga. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. How do y'all feel about that change right there? I just feel good because it just gives us the freedom. Like, people just don't understand. Like, we was just from another world. It's like, you couldn't even go in studio back then unless you had a room book. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, we couldn't even get into these studios. Like, yeah. And then, looking at the equipment and... The, the SB12 back then, that was just like looking at a car. Right. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, we walk to, you go to the little music center, man. Yeah. You, you, I'm talking about, we went to shopping all day, Pio. <laughs> like, How much that cost? Yeah, we can't feel, we can't afford that, Pio. <laughs> and like, you go over there to the keyboard, like, <laughs> mm, can't afford that, Pio. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, it, it, it's great now because now the, act, the actual technology has changed. Yeah. That now now, you know, you can damn near use your phone, you know, mm-hmm. to record and, and yep. become successful. So really it's uh it's great, but it also you can't tell the difference between an artist and a fan. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Now what you mean by that? It's a lot of fans making music because they can get they they, they got the access to it. Oh wow! So That's so real. you can you did, back then you couldn't have the access to that unless you was in there. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now a person just just buy the stuff or got it on his phone and and tomorrow he artist. You couldn't wow. even do that then. You yep. couldn't even. You know, it was exciting just walking into the damn, the damn tape room. Like, ooh, tapes. Yeah, yeah. this is this what the music go on now. It's like, man, it ain't nothing. It's like anything's Shit, recorded and it's cool, and you could do it back then, brother. Be able to hear yourself back on something was like, ooh, 
Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Like, yeah. now it's like it ain't nothing. So when you make stuff that's, that used to be in a certain class of people, when you make it so obsessive, you take the the value away from it. And I think that they doing that on purpose. They destroying, yeah, mm-hmm. they destroying uh, what they know the black community, what has made the black community famous, money, has always been music. Mm-hmm. So now look at what they're doing now. They're destroying it. Mm. If we can't control it because now y'all can do it without us, then we just destroy it. Yeah, you got AI yeah, yeah, now. They, 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 yeah. Everybody can record and get multiple voice so now, samples. You know, now but when AI. it was when we came in, it was all about the artists, all about the LA, the baby faces, mm-hmm. you know, the the, the 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 artists that wrote this stuff and it was all ooh, we it's just so you're so talented. Now just when you look around when they probably look around there and be like, Oh, okay, everybody look like that. Okay, well, it ain't as valuable no more. Mm. You know, yeah. you get live though, you see I mean, the difference. Like on. on the live show, <laughs> yeah. Come on out there and the them boys where we at. Them boys playing. Exactly. Yeah, you got to get down. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Like it's the art is there, right? You know what I'm saying? You got to be an entertainer. You know what I'm saying? Like I see that in the hip hop. Like my son Metro P, he an artist, but I be seeing some of the shows they do, and it's like. You know how you see the rappers just come out there like that. The mic be way over here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the grooming part of it, like, it's just gone. jumped in it. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just seeing what it looked like. You think that's what it looked like, but it's work. Working the mic and, and being prepared before you get out there. That's, yeah. that's why I try to stress to him, be polished before you get out there. You're going to stand out more. Mm-hmm. And you're building a fan base, not just a song, right? So that's the difference, yeah. And we rehearsed. I yeah. think a lot of people don't rehearse. I think once, I think, uh, I think once the trap era came in, people didn't rehearse. What did they rehearse for? Yeah. I came to y'all rehearsal. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like we 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 had the we had the we had the Yeah, we had the worst <laughs> Southern Soul. They gonna have to rehearse because you standing out there with folk, they gonna look at you funny you out there playing. You know, you can't right. really get out there and try and shoot the the boo boo. You gotta get out there. <laughs> right, right. Right. You know what I mean? You got grown <laughs> folks sitting up here gonna gonna judge you. Yeah, yeah, we talked you up. And that was the that if you look at that right there, that was our our kind of atmosphere in Atlanta yeah. back then. Everybody mm-hmm. was kind of like, you know, we friendly competition, yeah, but it's about you. us doing, you know, shoot, we gonna go up, we going up after y'all. Yeah, you know, everybody yeah. gonna do a good show. Yeah, yeah. I just think that that's, once the money and the the, the, the social media, yeah, yeah. I just think it just took that out of it. Where then, folks just sit there and be like, I'm gonna just put on some new clothes today. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a picture. And then I'm gonna go on stage tonight, and I'm gonna play my record. And I'm gonna rap on top of it. and I'm gonna have all my friends up. Yeah, it's like right. it's no preparation for nothing. And then most of the time they get there, and they hide their eye closed. <laughs> they been getting high all day. And then it's time for the show. Them folks just standing up there. I you know what I mean? That's what we looking on these like right here. I'm saying that right now. I'm taking pictures. Yeah, I tell them like, no, if you're gonna bring your people out, don't put them on the stage. Put it in the crowd. So it look like you rocking this yeah, you know yeah, yeah, like yeah. some footage of the crowd rocking. You got them up there, but ain't nobody in the crowd moving. See that? Put them on the ground. See Come that? On. Now Come get on. content from both ways when you rocking it, so you selling it. Well, exactly. exactly. First person told Lil Dad, Arnell Star. <laughs> Ow! Arnell, Arnell, I do this for Arnell. Okay, that, that's right. I do it. this for yeah. Arnell. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's the first man come put on, us on man. TV. Come on, man. Arnell, and then come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We have big up Yeah, <laughs> my God. Okay, wait. You got any more uh, questions? <laughs> well, I want, I want, I wanted to uh, say one last thing of what they were talking about. What you said about social media and and uh, being able to bring everything directly yeah. to the artist. There's a pro and a con to it. Uh-huh. The pro is that yeah, you can bring. You know, you can you can do a record today and later on the night drop it directly to the people. The con to it is that it took it unregionalized rap, mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. what happened now? You have kids in California, because of the internet now, they can easily try to sound like yeah. whatever's coming out of Atlanta. Right. See, back in the day, you knew you artists was out it. of California, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you knew artists was from New York, you knew artists from Atlanta, Miami. You could you could tell yeah, time it yep. came on that well, oh, I could tell that nigga from, there from so and so. You know what I'm saying? But now everybody sound alike. Because now all these, they sit here listening to each other and watching each other every step. So it's no creativity anymore. Mm. It's no, it, it, like he said, ain't no artist no more. All I got to do, I can look at a person. 
Man, a, a person there in China can rap just like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, and, that, and your the, swag, see everything you look at, Gil. Mm -hmm. They're going to see this interview right now. Yeah. And, and now to be, you know, Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> you know so, I hope so. He ain't got to come to Atlanta to get it no more. Yeah, I, yeah, I get all yeah, my yeah, game yeah. from Gil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, and that's the thing. It's, it's, it, you don't have to have any talent no more because the internet has brought us right into your living room yeah, every yeah. second on the, the day. Man. Exactly. Every day. Um, I would just say this, man, like, Southern Soul, the new space. It's the new place it's to be. Up. It's the new, it's the, where all the new artists are at. It's where the new sounds is, new, where the new heart is. And I just want everybody out there, especially in the South, man, find find this genre, man, and, yep. and support it, man, and, 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 and make it grow like you did every other scene that came from the South, man. Like, uh, I got to talk to DJ Holiday yeah. from uh, Mi Mississippi. He was like, hey, man, I really love this remix record with you and Cud. Like, keep going with this gift. So I'm just proud of Cud that he's... He, he gonna be the face, he gonna be one of the faces that's gonna right. help this genre go up there and we gonna give all the respect to the elders of the, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, of the yeah, genre, yeah. you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, and, and we just want them to get they light now. Mm -hmm. Like, let, let's do that, let's yeah. let's go somewhere else, let's let's show people we can pivot and go yeah. somewhere else and, and grow another in, in another space. And you know, Gibby just gonna keep going, I got a new record coming, what? With Sniper and Hits, with, Sil yeah. Yeah. with right. Sylvia Rome, we yeah. dropping that. We doing the video in, in Miami this month. Me and Cub, we shooting the remix to the, uh, Auntie Love right. here in, in, in Atlanta on the 16th. On the 16th of uh, what month? Because I got to be there. This month. What? This, yeah. month. January, January. this month. This month. Yeah. Um, uh, what else we got going on? Um, hey, man, Gippy, I'm just here. You know, I'm going to just keep going. I'm going to keep uh, being a supporter of everybody and... Um, Atlanta, I love you, man. And Be High Wiki, man. Thank y'all for always being here for Atlanta, man. Like you are the you are the continuation of our nail star. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. you are. You are. You are, sir. You 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 nobody besides probably you and Street got this kind of love. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> What up, Street? So, man, thank you so much, man. And we're going to be here. Good tomorrow going to be out. We're going to do a few shows this year, but, you know, mostly we're going to pretty much try to just build our personal brands out. So, you know, when y'all do get to see Goody Mob, it's going to be a special event this year. We worked so hard for the last two years, man. I just, <laughs> it's time. Yeah. It's time. I'm, I'm tired, yeah. man. I'm talking about the T-I-R. Yeah. Man, yeah. Man, they, ain't got the rest of the word, they ain't got the rest of the word on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so y'all going to catch Gippy at the trail rides and all yes, that, sir. man. It's going to be a leisure year for me. I'm just going to be growing with new artists and, and, and I just want us as a people just to keep growing and getting better, man. That's where it's at. That's Absolutely. what we going to do, Sky. Yeah, what man. you got to hey. tell them? All social media platforms, Sky Wiley, Auntie Love Out Now, the remix coming, video coming. Salute to everybody in Southern Soul. Like when I got in the genre, I said I want to bring value, add value to the game. Mm. And I know Atlanta influenced everything. And it's, if it's put together right, I think we can put it out to the masses where they'll tune in a little more. Exactly. So all the other artists can grow. Like we're doing big arenas now and stuff like that, but – I think this is the time. I think it's this is the place. And he got my mama and them so happy. Mama, <laughs> my mama said, but Rock Mart got their first star shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Real Real funny. Entertainment. Hey, Davis. Before I leave, yeah. I got to give a shout out to Flight Risk Clevo okay. in, in Columbus. Y'all know that's my other gangster, man. Yeah, he yeah. down there. He represents for Columbus. We shoot his right, video right. uh, this weekend to uh, Blue Cap. Yeah, well, y'all, yeah. y'all get to hear get rap a little bit. I'm gonna rap a little bit on that yeah. one. But uh, yeah, man, that's it, man. It's a, it's a family yeah, affair, man. Family I mean, affair. Well, as always, man, appreciate y'all coming through Jones. this thing. All right, bro, appreciate, appreciate y'all. Number the best and much success.